This is some footage of me deathmatching against AI in vanilla Armor 2 Operation Arrowhead. I'm going to be playing this in the background because I think this is as different to the original concept of DayZ as a lot of the newer mods are, like Epoch, or even just the server modifications, the map modifications that, that people make on different servers. Um, you know, roaming AI, uh, spawning with loot, uh, barracks everywhere, easy to get loot. Um, it completely changes. It completely changes the game. It's not really... I don't really consider it DayZ anymore. I consider it... Um, sort of an armor deathmatch. I'm not against PvP or deathmatching or anything like that. I love that shit. I like playing uh, Counter-Strike or... Um, <clears throat> even the original Doom. I've been playing a lot of Brutal Doom lately. Which you should check out if you haven't heard of it. But fighting in DayZ is something different. It means something more. It's way more intense. The first time I killed a bandit, I didn't know that uh, people could be knocked out, and I thought he was dead. The first time I shot a bandit, I should say. He started waking up while I was bandaging because he'd shot me as well. And uh, multiple bricks were shot simultaneously. Um, I stopped bandaging and I managed to kill him, but I was shocked at how my heart was thumping, my hands were shaking, I was sweating. Never had an experience like that in a game before. Never felt that way before. Um, and I knew that this, this game was different. This was something else. We're starting to lose that now. We're moving away from that. So, Epoch is the most popular mod at the moment. It allows you to store massive amounts of gear and safes, and this mitigates risk. Because you you lose the gear which is on your character when you die, but you've still got a shitload of items in your safe. It's not even like a tent where uh, there's still this possibility that someone else might come across it and take all your stuff. You only ever you might only ever lose about the top five percent of what you have when you've got a safe. So this lessens your emotional investment as a player. It lessens the investment in your character whose life is now completely disposable. So there's no problem throwing your life away because you'll be back with the same capability in less than you know 10 minutes if you can get to your safe that quickly. What this does is it throws the entire idea of permadeath out the window. It's not permadeath anymore. The only thing you're losing is that little number of kills, you know, that little stat up in the corner. That's the only thing. In fact, you'll come back with more blood. You'll be better. If you if you died, uh, if your character had, you know, 8,000 blood and you walked off a cliff by accident or something, or killed by zombies or shot, um, you're coming back healthier than when you fucking died. Sometimes it's better to commit suicide than to try and keep your character alive. It's been said that gear is the leveling system in DayZ. Even Rocket himself said that. Um, and, and people refer to the end game, meaning that you fully, when you're fully geared, maybe have a, a vehicle hidden somewhere. You know, you've reached the end game, which that would essentially mean that you can spawn. Uh, run through Electro, kill a geared up sniper who's hanging around the hills, and you're basically in the end game. In Epoch, I guess that means you've got a base and a safe and a vehicle, and you know, you're fucking around with your gold and smelting and running backwards and forwards, um, grinding um, until you get sick of it, I, I suppose. Personally, I'm, I'm opposed to the entire paradigm of end game. Um, it's not. World of Warcraft. You're not fucking reaching level 70. This is supposed to be the anti-game. It was originally intended as a survival simulation and I think it should be about survival. It should be about the experiences you have in the game. Actually, you know, trying to communicate with someone you meet in the game rather than someone you've organized to, to be in team speak with. It should be about the strategies you develop with being ambushed. Your positional strategy, your looting strategy. 
getting mugged, losing all your gear, um, hopefully living to tell the tale, surviving illness, injury, um, zombie attacks, surviving at any cost, and fighting against any odds that you come up against, and trying to live through it. And by doing things like cheating and running scripts, you're depriving yourself of that. You're depriving yourself of the game. And by combat logging, uh, you're depriving yourself of possibly the most intense experience you might ever have in any game. By focusing completely on gear and seeing your character as disposable, you're opting out of something far more memorable than that time you went to a, a safe zone trader and fucking smelted bits of metal to get a car or something. Challenge yourself to feel something. Allow yourself the possibility that you, that you might lose everything. Think about what your character has lived through rather than what they're wearing at the moment. I see gear as a means to an end. It's just tools to help you survive. Over time it's seemingly become more about hoarding so that surviving is merely a means to put more objects in your safe. I say fuck that. Fuck leveling. Fuck the entire concept of endgame. There is no endgame. There is just survival.